Hello everyone, playing a little bit of Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Come to share a story with you today. Before we get started, I'd just like to state that I have no way to confirm nor deny many of the stories that have been shared with me. Although they have come with the full omissions by the original tellers that they are true, or at least they believe them to be. Like, share, and subscribe. Alrighty then, let's get on with it, shall we? Today's story comes from an individual in my community that would really like to remain anonymous. The individual in question said the story is about an uncle of his who his family has instructed him never to visit along with the rest of his siblings. He then proceeded to give me a letter written to him by his uncle explaining why his family has seemingly abandoned him to live the rest of the days in the woods. Alrighty then. Here we go. I'm writing this in response to you asking a question over why the family hasn't told you not to visit me while I stay in the woods. What happened started when I was fairly young and on a drive home one night. The way was quite well lit via the street lamps and I could see for a decent distance. I started to grow tired, however I wasn't that far from my home. So I just continued onward. There on the side of the road I saw a large dark mass moving towards the road. So, I decided to slow down, figuring it was a bear. Upon getting closer, a number of shadows proceeded to step out on the side of the road, and the initial one stepped onto it. I proceeded, as I drew even closer still, to slow down even further, and eventually had to stop with one of them standing in front of the roads. There I noticed, through my headlights, that this was a rather strange looking bear. However, as I peered at it, I later figured, within moments, that it was not a bear. In fact, I wasn't quite sure what it was. Its, knee its limbs were long, its knees bent backwards, its forearms and had hands attached to them with rather long claws. The head was that of what I could describe as a German Shepherd or a wolf. I wasn't quite sure. To be honest, I've never really been around dogs that much over the course of my life. So, the difference between a German Shepherd and a wolf, other than size, is very limited in my regard. So, staring at it, it started staring back. With fur as black as the night itself. I began to get quite nervous as it began to growl. The headlights caused its eyes to glow like that of a cat's eye. In fact, its eyes narrowed, much like a cat as well, and that deeply concerned me. After staring for a little bit further, it stepped a few steps towards the car before darting off into the woods. However, soon after, those following it did the same, one by one crossing the road along with varying sizes all of them smaller than the first. However, it came to the end with another two large ones. The first one was clearly male. However, these two clearly bared the markings of a female. One of them had fur just as dark as the first. The second one had dark fur with gray tint as if it had been a quite old. Although, staring at it, 
it still had quite a bit of vigor. Before I could cross, though, the one with the great hair was snapped at by the one with the solid dark fur. It growled and slapped the creature in question before wandering off. I saw the remaining creature slowly make its way across the road before it stopped on the other side to stare at me. I proceeded to stare back at the creature, rather curious at what I was looking at. It had a look as if it was quite lonely, at least in my opinion. Although it proceeded to walk back off into the woods, following the others. Over time, though, a few days later, after seemingly not seeing the creatures in question, I saw them again towards the border of my property. I live a fair decent ways into the woods on about 10-11 acres. The nearest residence is about a 45-minute drive from me. Although, if you take some of the side routes, there are slightly closer people, but on the main route, it is a decent distance. So, seeing animals you normally don't see is nothing new to me. However, in this particular instance, it was the creatures I'd previously seen. And as before, when the large one looked at me, it was quite agitated with my presence. Before they left, after turning away, there was a brief pause where again the more youthful female struck at the older one, who was staring quite intently towards my direction. All the other ones proceeded left except for the older female. Or what I perceived to be the older female, at least. It's the first time I'd seen such creatures, so I had no way to tell their actual ages. I was simply guessing based on fur. They were fairly lean creatures, and this one seemed slightly leaner, so that went into my calculation that it was the older. The male had some gray tinning upon closer expression during the day, at the edge of my property, and it had some tints of gray hair as well, although much smaller amount than the female. The female continued to stare, and I proceeded to set down a lunch I'd brought out with me at the border closest to that particular female after the other ones had left, all the while it watched. I pointed at the food, and I proceeded to back up and go inside. Within an hour, I came back, the food was gone, as was the female. I'd much rather say I made a friend, but I wasn't quite sure. Although that night, I proceeded to see the same creature again, this time with wounds on the body. The wounds looked like it came from, potentially, one of its companions. It was outside the door. Rather than heed my gut feeling to remain in, I decided to set some food outside the door. The creature seemingly took it and proceeded to devour it rather readily, and then set the plates back down that I had served it on rather gently, of which I greatly appreciated. I proceeded to go down to my basement, as I was one of the few people in the area with the luxury to have one, come out the other side, and rounded the side of my house as it had a way out to the outside through the basement, left, walked around the corner, and signaled the creature to come my direction. I left the door open and went down, leaving more food and water down in the basement. 
I proceeded to return to my home as I could hear it walking down the staircase and then devour the food. That's when I noticed one of the large, the large male at the border of my property, rather agitated with my presence, seemingly even more so than usual. So, I locked my doors, and I could hear the creature shut the basement doors leading to the outside on its own. That morning, I went down to the basement just to try to peek and see if it's still there. It was. In fact, it was staring right at me. It let me walk up to it, so I did so rather cautiously. I brought with me some bandages and signaled to the injuries, along with some antibiotic cream that should have aided with it. The creature seemingly understood what I was trying to do, so I proceeded to treat its wounds. After that, the creature seemingly just got up and walked out. After which, within hours, it came back with a deer. A rather not living one at that and proceeded to set it in the basement at the door leading to the top. Since then, me and this individual, this creature have been sharing a residence. So the family, after finding out, proceeded to bar anyone from coming, but have kept, largely kept my secret. Alright everyone, thank you for your time, and see everyone around!